Sisters, welcome to the house of God. Amen. This wonderful uh, Christmas Eve, Eve evening. Amen. We're going to worship Him. We're going to praise Him. We're going to uh, sing to Him this wonderful morning, a wonderful evening with this first song. Oh, come, all ye faithful. Oh, come, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and be Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Cries the Lord, sing cries of angels, singing exhortation, sing all ye citizens of heaven above. Adore him, oh come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord, yeah, Lord, we greet thee, yeah, Lord, we greet thee. Born this happy morning, Jesus, to thee be your glory given. Word of the Father. Come, let us adore. Come, let, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Let's sing the next song. Hug the hero angel, sing. Hug the hero angel, sing. Glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy, man. God and sinner reconciled. Joyful of the nation ride. Join in the triumph of the sky. With angelicals proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the angels sing. Glory to the newborn King. Hail the heaven. Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, bright in life to all He brings, risen with healing in His wings. How He lay His glory by, born that man may more may die. Hardy hero angels sing Glory to the newborn King Amen, let's worship Him this wonderful evening Amen We're gonna worship Him with this next song Before You I Knew Amen, Before You I Knew Amen Before You I Knew my master and maker to offer the works of my hands for this is the day you've given your servants I will rejoice and be glad to live and breathe for your skill your grace has given me for the needs and opportunity that will glorify your great name that will glorify your 
before you we knew before you we knew our master and maker establish the works of our hands in order ourselves to seek first your kingdom in every small and great task Mary live the gospel of your grace serve your purpose in our fleeting days then our life will bring eternal to your great name and all glory to your great name for the strength for the strength I had to live and breathe for the skill your grace has given me Opportunity that will glorify your great name, that will glorify your great name. Let's worship Him and let's glorify Him this wonderful evening. Yes, oh God, we thank you, oh God. Yes, oh Lord, we thank you, oh God, Lord. Oh Lord, we thank you, oh God, Lord. We honor you. Let us worship Him. Amen. Let's come with a heart of worship. And let's sing to Him with this next song, O Lamb of God. Your only Son, no sin to hide. But you have sent Him from your side to walk upon. To walk upon. This guilty soul and to become the Lamb of God and all together, O oh Lamb, O oh Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. Oh, watch me in. Christ, the Lamb of God. Oh, I was so lost. I was so lost. I should have died. But you have brought me to your side to be led by your staff and to be called the Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God, O wash me in your precious blood. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. From the top, your only Son, thy only Son. No sin to hide. But you have brought him from your side to walk upon, to walk upon this guilty soul. And to become the Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God, O wash me in your precious blood. 
my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. I was so lost. I was so lost. I was so lost. I should have died. I should have died. But you have brought, you have brought me to your side to be led by. To your staff and rod, your staff and rod, and to be called a lamb, a lamb of God, O Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the whole, I love the holy Lamb of God, O wash me. My Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the holy Lamb of God, O wash me. My Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. My Jesus Christ, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Let's give Him a big clap offering tonight. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this wonderful night. On the eve of the birth of Christ, we come before you acknowledging, dear Lord, your love and your giving unto mankind. Your word says in John 3.16 that you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. And tonight we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We bring God this evening before you. Lord, our loved ones who are not saved, we bring their heart, their soul and spirit before you. We pray for them, dear God, that you enlighten the eyes of their heart that they may come to know you. This evening in the name of Jesus and those who are here and those who could not be here watching live stream, as well, we bring all of them before you in prayer this evening. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we pray wherever they may be. Dear God, we pray that you protect them, cover them, dear God. Tonight in this service, we pray as we gather together on this eve night. Dear Lord, we seek your presence. We seek your anointing. We seek your goodness this evening in this place. We ask you, God to minister unto us as we minister unto you. Bless tonight's service, God, in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, we ask and pray. Amen. Let's give a big clap to the Lord. Amen. Could you just turn around and greet one another? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, uh, musicians. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. So, very good uh, uh, evening to all of you, and um, uh, wish all of you a very Merry Christmas this evening. And uh, I'd like to give you the announcement before we move on to special music tonight. We do have special music. And I um, want to give you the announcement Sunday. We have uh, morning service at 10.30 and evening service as well at 7.30. So midweek worship service and uh, our Sunday evening service um, is live stream service. So just live stream uh, due to reason of the SOP for the time being. So that will be Sunday night and Wednesday night. Sunday morning would be 
the uh, gathering of the saints together in the house of God. And uh, next Sunday, we will have our Holy Communion. Amen. So next Sunday, we will have our Holy Communion service. So um, take note of all this uh, announcement. Amen. So before we uh, move on, we're going to have special music. Amen. So Sister Juliet and Sister Jackie, um, they're going to come and they're going to sing to the Lord. Amen. Sister Jackie is going to give a testimony as well. So let's uh, welcome both of them. Amen. As they come. Amen. A very good evening to all here in church and for all those that are watching live stream at home. Brothers and sisters, as a family of God and part of this Victory Fellowship Church. 2020 has been a very challenging year for most of us. However, the Word of God from the beginning of time promises us love, peace and joy. In John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. This gift of Jesus is good news for everyone. His birth is God's offer of love and peace to you and me. Let us be reminded as we celebrate Christmas, and the coming new year. No matter what the world is going through, we believe his love will help and see us through. Lastly, brothers and sisters, let's hold on and hold on to our faith in God, for all things are made possible in Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Far away in Bethlehem, Mary, being great with child, had no place to lie down. So Joseph found a stable in which Mary had her child. Once upon a Christmas was the birth of Jesus Christ. In the major far away, a king was born, his palace was a major filled with hay. A royal room was one o'clock, a halo was his crown. Once upon a Christmas, away. The world rejoiced because a king was born at last. A savior has been promised, and it has come to pass. And the joyful news that he was born spread quickly far and wide. Once upon a Christmas was a birth of Jesus Christ. Once upon a Christmas, far and east when wise men came, with gold and myrrh and frankincense to praise the newborn king. And the shepherd left their flocks and came to see and worship him. Once upon a Christmas, away in Bethlehem. And all 
Oh, the world rejoice because a king was born at last, and the savior has been promised, and it has come to pass. And the joyful news that he was born spread quickly far and wide. Once upon a Christmas was the birth of Jesus Christ. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. And all the world rejoiced because a king was born and less a savior. The joyful news that he was born, but quickly far and wide. Once upon a Christmas was the birth of Jesus Christ. Once upon a Christmas, far away in Bethlehem. Thank you. Have a very merry Christmas. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's give them another warm applause. Amen. So, amen. So, um, great singing. Amen. Before we uh, hear the word of God, we want to receive tonight's uh, giving. And uh, Christmas is. Uh, Eve services once a year, a celebration of God's gift of a Savior to mankind. As God gave His best, uh, let's all give our best to Him as well tonight. Amen. So let's come before the Lord and let's in this uh, service, again as our Lord gave His best, let's bow our heads and let's Give our best unto the Lord before we uh, go into the Word of God this evening in the book of James, chapter 1. Amen. Uh, Peter. Father God, thank you for this beautiful day, God. Father God, we come here with a cheerful heart. Bless this tithes and offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So let's turn to the book of uh, James tonight and uh, welcome all of you here and we're going to look at verse 17 to verse 18, the book of James and uh, chapter 1 says in verse 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Verse 18 Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. First of all, I and my family would like to take this time to uh, wish uh, every one of you a very blessed day um, of the Lord. And our wishes to all of you is may His uh, tender mercy and may God's loving kindness uh, be with you all, always, day and night, night and day. As you can see, this year, Christmas Eve service is uh, different. Okay, first time all of us need to be uh, wearing our masks. So, so you need to put up your mask up to your nose. Okay, social distancing. No food, but we got food. Someone brought nasi lemak, <laughs> and we got a goodie bag for you as well. Inside got apples and 
different kinds of uh, snack food and many could not be here because of the SOP, children below 12 and, and uh, for that reason their parents could not be here 70 years above or so. Uh, we have limited spacing and therefore we're not allowed to, uh, we could not invite anybody to come and uh, we are doing live stream this year, first time. Uh, we have time limit, uh, 9.30, we have to be out from here, okay? So this is not just for us, but in every church, every gathering tonight in the house of God in our country. But nevertheless, the good in this, despite all the differences, amen, Christ is still the same, amen. His love for us never changes. And that is itself a great, great blessing to know that we have a Savior and a Lord who, is, who never changes His love to us, you and I. Now, one of the things about what makes Christmas uh, unique and uh, merry is the part that has to do with the giving of gifts. Um, I'd like to thank all of you uh, who are involved in the gift of um, giving and um, buying gifts for the children, 17 children um, tonight. After the service, they'll be all opening up their gifts. And, and giving gifts is not just something that is um, practiced today. For we also see this in the pages of the Bible. The story told in 1 Kings chapter 10, verse number 10, uh, where when the Queen of Sheba, excuse me, Jasper, could you come and just the wires around here? Okay, thank you. So, okay, already. <laughs> so, can you read George Jasper? So, story told in the book of 1 Kings 10 10. When the Queen of Sheba, after having heard the wisdom of Solomon, the Bible says in verse number 10, uh, it has this to say. And she gave the king 120 talents of gold and of spices, very great store and precious stones. There came no more such abundance of spices as these which the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. So back in the book of Kings, the practice of giving, okay, uh, it's already been practiced when Queen Sheba, King of, Queen of Sheba, after hearing the wisdom of King Solomon, gave gold, spices, and uh, precious stones. And then 2,000 years ago, when the wise men, after having finally found Jesus, this is what was said in Matthew 2, was number 11, and when they would come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they, had, when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and uh, myrrh. The wise men, upon being directed by a star to where Jesus was, uh, was born. And upon having found Jesus, they fell down in worship and then they opened up their treasures and the scripture says they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and uh, myrrh. There they gave to Jesus two different sets of gifts, one from the heart, one from the hands, or from their hands. The first set of gifts from the heart came in the form of adoration. 
that is the gift of worship. The second set of gifts came from their hands, came in the form of gold, frankincense and, and mirth. The first one, when they worshipped him, they fell down on their knees to do so in honour and in respect to him. These wise men were all from a city called Patia. And from Patia to Jerusalem is, an, is approximately 500 miles journey. Give and take on a camel three to four months to reach where Jesus was. And they found, when they found Jesus, they were not too tired to bow their knees or prostrate themselves before Jesus Christ. The second set of gifts were gifts from their hands. Came in the form of gold, frankincense, and, and mirth. Mirth and frankincense are still today uh, as valuable as in the days of Jesus, known for their smell and fragrance that it gives, but more so especially for frankincense uh, for to be able to get frankincense, this gum, this fragrance, one will have to extract it out from the bark of the tree. And to do so, one have to use a sharp metal, a sharp scraper, and they have, will have to hit upon the bark of the tree and scrape it. Hit, scrape, hit, scrape. And that gum from the tree will begin to slowly drip out from the bark of the tree and um, then the smell of it uh, which symbolize of the future death of Christ the way Jesus is going to die in a way a sweet aroma to God and not just a sweet aroma to God but a sweet aroma to you and I that Jesus Christ future life uh, would uh, 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 involve him having to be nailed on the cross and to be bitten and to whip and until that blood okay, drip from his body which is uh, becomes an aroma to God and to mankind. So gift giving is a big part of the Bible. And likewise tonight, this is what the birth of Christ is about. It's about the giving of a gift from a loving being called God to the only creation made in his likeness and in his image called man. A gift from God who dwells in heaven to his people who live on earth. Though mankind are blessed with many uh, different kind of gifts, the gift of a family, gift of talents, gift of friends, help, covering angels, love, protection. But among all the gifts, the one that is above all others, or the gift that excel all others, is none other than the gift of God's only begotten Son, named Jesus Christ. John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. On that day, God used the wrapper of an earthly flesh or the wrapper of earthly flesh made from clay, and God wrapped his own Son, who is God himself, who is the creator himself into the likeness of a baby and send him into the womb of a woman named Mary in order that in nine months' time that son would be born into the world, into the likeness of humanity so that he will grow up to become an invaluable gift to all of mankind through his gift of death on the cross. At that time of giving, 
though it appear to have not much or no value to many born in a manger. For he was just a baby wrapped in a tower born in a manger. But when the time came, to why the reason of his birth came, to those who knows why, Jesus was the best gift. Amen. And the reason why or behind why Jesus is the best gift. You may have received many, 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 many good, good gifts. But the reason why Jesus is the best gift above all gifts is because He is man's most needed gift. As a month ago, uh, my car uh, was punctured uh, on the roadside along the main road near traffic light. And um, I tried calling the insurance company from my handphone and, and they say they could only come in two hours' time. I think it was Saturday evening, if I'm not mistaken. And so I, on the hazard light, opened up the, the booth door and, and went searching for a car tire shop. First one I went uh, would not go out from their shop to offer such kind of service. The second shop I went also would not offer such kind of service. Then I have to walk to find another third shop which also would not offer such kind of service because he has not enough of manpower. Finally, the fourth shop have they do go out to uh, give this kind of service. So uh, I jumped onto the back of the motorbike of this man and together we went to the car, to my car. And he took out this little gadget, car pressure, air pressure, uh, um, pumping uh, gadget. This, this is a gadget I think you need to keep in your car. Okay? And he just put it in and pressed one button, and the whole car began to blow up, I mean, begin to get back in shape, and he told me, quickly drive to my shop. So after he finished doing so, quickly drove to his shop, and, and with that gadget, and uh, not every gift satisfy a person's need. Some may give you what you want, but may not give to you what you need. There's a difference between wants and needs. And many times, what we want is not what we need. For wants, it has to do with desire. But needs, many times, have to do with survival. Okay? That time I needed someone, okay? To come and do something to my tire, okay. I needed someone, okay. It's getting late. Needed someone to come, okay. And once our desires we would like to have, but do not need, do not necessarily need. Needs are things we must have to survive, okay. Not every gift is a needed gift, but not in the case of the gift of God. In Jesus Christ, for he is every man and every woman must have gift. And the reason for why Jesus is a must-have gift is because only Jesus is the sole, ordained, chosen, appointed one to pay for the wrong and the sins of mankind. Mankind have sinned against his creator who formed him and made him. And mankind have rebelled against a holy and righteous God. And mankind have followed or have followed a different path. A path completely the opposite of God's path, which is the path which God's path is a path of holiness and righteousness, but men having been deceived have chosen the unholy path instead of choosing 
the path of forgiveness. They choose bitterness, vengeance. Instead of choosing God's way, they choose their own way. Instead of choosing the Bible's way, they choose the way of philosophy. Instead of choosing justice, they choose injustice. Instead of choosing obedience, they choose rebellion. Instead of choosing loving God, they choose loving themselves, loving money, and loving pleasure. Instead of choosing the light, they choose darkness. Instead of choosing citing truth, they cite the path of lie. Listen to Romans chapter 3, verse 10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks after God. They have all turned aside. They have become unprofitable. There is none who does good. No, not one. Their throat is an open tomb. With their tongue, they have practiced lying. They are, the poison of apps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and mis misery are in their ways, and the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before the eyes. And the penalty for that rebellion, disobedience, is eternal separation from God. God, when making man, did not make COVID-19. God did not make war. God did not create hatred. God did not create abortion, murder, stealing, drugs, divorce. These are all a result of sin. This was not God's plan. God's plan was eternal peace and eternal joy. Man's needs, man needs forgiveness for their sin. And also man needs deliverance from God's judgment. And the way for man to be forgiven and delivered from everlasting punishment is through a gift. Through a gift. The gift of his only son, Jesus Christ. There's no other way. No other person, no other method, no other sacrifice that has been selected, ordained, chosen, except one whose name is Jesus Christ because he is the only sacrifice that is holy enough to pay for a price of unholiness. But like every gift, which is intent which is intent a gift there's an intention is to be given but like every gift the gift will only be of good if the gift given to that person that person open up his heart open up his hands and say, thank you. I accept it. I receive it. Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus is the gift of God to every sinner. The benefit of of gift upon receiving is eternal life. But again, like every gift, to give of its benefits, the one offer that gift in this case is every sinner been offered this gift is he has to receive it. He has to say, thank you, yes, I receive it, I take it. The only cause is you believe okay, what he did for you. John 3, 16, 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes, verse 18, in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. God would not force it on you, no, not, would not force his gift on you, but he would do whatever it can as long as you are breathing to say, here daughter, here son, take my gift. You're watching live stream, you're not a Christian, God will say to you, I have a gift for you. Okay, here's my gift. Take my gift. That gift, the benefit of that gift is eternal life. It's free of charge. Okay, all you have to do, you don't have to earn it. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to labor for it. You don't have to roll on the floor for, for it. You don't have to buy flowers for it. All you have to do is just take it, believe it, accept it. And if you do that by receiving it, then you will have eternal life. God will not force it on you, but He will do whatever He can as long as you are still breathing. As long as you are still breathing. This year, especially this year, many people just dropped dead. Many people died. Okay? Many people. And many famous people okay, just, just died. Many famous even preachers Maradona, just greatest, one of the greatest footballers, just died. This year, so many people died, you know. As long as you're breathing, this gift, but if, when the breath is gone, when the breath stops from a person, when, the, when there's no more the ability of the lungs to take another breath of God's fresh air into the lungs that offers becomes invalid. Today I was uh, went to bought went to buy uh, this uh, singlet and. Uh, Still wear this old-fashioned pagoda singlet. <laughs> they don't sell it. Um, they don't now sell it um, anywhere. You gotta go and look for it. After buying it, I came out and just right in front of the shop selling baby products. Last days, huh? <laughs> this big sign there. He put it last days. Yes, last days. Living in the last days, took a picture of it. Surely it's like, wow, you know, last days, they put it, it's just like, we're living in the last days, church. And again, God will not force it on you. So that gift tonight of Christ Jesus is given unto you. We do not know what next year is going to be like. Okay? Times are still so, another word for it is called fluid, F-L-U-I-D. -F fluid means so watery, so, so uncertain. We don't know. But we do know one thing, that 2,000 years ago, God gave His only begotten Son. God gave us a gift. And for us as Christians this evening, like the wise men, cherish that gift. Okay. Value that gift. Okay. Don't take that gift for granted. Okay. Don't, don't take it for granted. Okay. Don't neglect that gift. It's for your eternal life. 
For those of you who do not know Jesus, that gift, watching through live stream, is an opportunity for you on this very night to receive this gift. I want every head bow, every eyes closed. So I want to speak to those watching through live stream. Yeah, we're not a Christian. And you're watching through live stream. God loves you. And he has this gift for you, waiting for you. He's been waiting for you 2,000 years. All you have to do is say, thank you, God. I accept it. Would you accept it? doesn't cost you. just costs you your heart. It's just a heart that would believe and say, I believe. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross, rose again on the third day for my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ paid the price for my sin tonight. Hallelujah. If that's you watching through live stream, would you pray this prayer with me and say, Father in heaven, I come to you tonight as a sinner. I ask you to forgive me. Forgive me for my own selfish ways. Forgive me my rebellion, my disobedience, my unbelief towards you. I thank you for giving your son to die for me on the cross. I accept him as my Lord and Savior. I believe in the blood of Jesus. Cleanse me of all my sins. Wash me of all my iniquity. Purge me from all my transgression tonight. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and pray. Hallelujah. Let's stand to our feet before we wish one another a blessed Merry Christmas. We're going to sing this song. Amen. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound the save a wretch like me. She you lift your hands. I was lost, lost, but now I found. found was blind, but now. Shouldn't be 
es la, es la, el Dios le say my chains are gone, my chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood is mercy. Amazing grace, amazing grace, sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I was lost, but now and found was blind. Grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious day that grace appeared, the hour I first believed. My change. Set free, I've been set free. I've been set free. My God, my Savior, my God, my Savior has ransomed me like a tree and like a flood. His mercy, unending love, unending love, amazing grace. My chains are gone. Chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love. Amazing. Unending love, unending love, amazing grace. Let's worship Him. Yondo robo sande, yala la 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 rando korobo sande ki ando sandai. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Isn't God good? Amen. Amen. We have a wonderful night service. Amen. Amen. You can really feel the presence of God tonight. Even as I'm preaching this evening. Such a wonderful presence of God. This Sunday morning is going to be about Jesus and the Holy Spirit. There's a song we sing. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And the last stanza, it talks about Jesus as the second Adam. And uh, the second Adam, we find the first Adam was from earth. The second Adam is from heaven. But the second Adam needed someone, the Holy Spirit, to be with him all the way through okay, to make it from the day of his birth to the day he died on the cross. So this Sunday morning will be about that, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And we sing that song for listen, Navida. Can we speak? Come. Dinesh, can you play the drum? We're going to sing. And Where's Dinesh? <laughs> One, two, three, four. For listen, Navida. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero 
Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero ano felicidad I want to wish you, let's go around I want to wish you a Merry Christmas I want to wish you a Merry Christmas I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. James, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Come go around and pray. Feliz Navidad. Give a big clap to Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen. So we still got half an hour. So 25 minutes to depart from this place. So there's some food. Uh, Sister Nancy have uh, brought some nasi lemak and some, some things inside the, goodie, inside the goodie bag. So God bless you and have a good holiday the next few days. And see you on Sunday morning. Amen. God bless all of you. You haven't got a goodie bag? Take one goodie bag from the back. Amen.